Talcum powder, or baby powder, is a finely ground mineral made from talc. It has a soft and silky texture that can feel incredibly soothing on the skin. The powder is typically white with a subtle fragrance that adds to its fresh and clean appeal. Another property of talcum powder is its ability to absorb moisture. This quality makes it excellent for combating pests like ants and fleas in your home. These tiny creatures thrive in damp environments, but applying baby powder around their entry points or nesting areas creates a barrier by absorbing the moisture they need to survive. So next time you notice a pest infestation at home or want to prevent one altogether, consider using talcum or baby powder as a natural pest control method. So here are the best ways to eliminate pests with talcum or baby powder. 1. Ants Talcum powder works as a barrier against ants due to its texture. Ants rely on pheromone trails to communicate with each other and navigate towards food sources. Sprinkling this powder along their path creates a physical barrier that obstructs their movement and disrupts their ability to follow the scent trail. Another fascinating aspect of talcum powder is that it suffocates the ants by clogging their respiratory system. The fine particles can attach to their exoskeleton, covering the tiny spiracles they use to breathe. Without proper airflow, the ants suffocate and die off. This dual mechanism makes talcum powder an efficient tool for controlling ant infestations. Next time you come across these persistent creatures, try this method. 2. Japanese Beetles Japanese beetles are small but destructive pests that can wreak havoc on your garden and landscape. They may look beautiful with their shiny metallic green bodies and coppery wings, but their appetite for plants tells a different story. These invasive insects feed on over 300 plant species, including roses, grapes, and fruit trees. A lesser-known method to combat Japanese beetles involves baby powder. While this may seem unconventional, the fine particles of baby powder can interfere with the beetle's ability to fly and navigate. Apply a thin layer of the powder onto your plant's leaves and flowers in the early morning when dew is present to create a barrier that makes it difficult for the adult beetles to cling to them. It's non-toxic and does not harm beneficial insects such as bees or ladybugs essential for pollination and pest control in your garden. 3. Aphids Aphids are tiny creatures that infest plants overnight and can be a gardener's worst nightmare. These pesky insects multiply fast and wreak havoc on your prized roses or freshly grown vegetables. While numerous methods can control aphid populations, baby powder may be a surprising yet effective solution. It's a natural deterrent for aphids due to its ability to suffocate these tiny pests. When you apply the powder to the affected plants or insects, the fine particles create a barrier around them. It makes it difficult for aphids to penetrate the sticky adhesive layer of the leaves. Besides, the powdery substance dehydrates and desiccates the aphids' soft bodies, leading them towards a slow demise. Also, the powder has absorbent properties that remove excess moisture from plant leaves. Maintaining optimal leaf moisture levels ward off aphids and prevents fungal infections like powdery mildew. Remember to apply talcum powder regularly by sprinkling it liberally over your plant's foliage until they're coated evenly. 4. Spiders Talcum powder works as a spider repellent due to its composition. Spiders rely heavily on their sense of smell and the strong scent of talcum powder irritates and repels them. Sprinkle the powder in areas where spiders usually lurk, such as corners of rooms or behind furniture, to create an unpleasant environment for these arachnids. Another method is to mix talcum powder with essential oils that repel spiders. A few drops of peppermint or lavender oil added to the talcum powder creates a potent deterrent effect. The fragrance will drive spiders away from your home and leave it smelling fresh and pleasant. 5. Chipmunks Chipmunks may be cute but can become unwanted pests in your garden or yard. These rodents have a voracious appetite and can cause significant damage to plants, bulbs, and underground wiring. Baby powder is an effective and natural way to deter chipmunks from your outdoor space. Sprinkling talcum powder around the areas where you've noticed chipmunk activity can create a barrier that they find repulsive. The pungent smell of the baby powder will mask any attractive scents in your garden, discouraging these critters from exploring further. 
Besides, it creates an uncomfortable texture on their paws and fur when they come into contact with it, making them avoid these areas altogether. You can rest assured that these products won't harm the chipmunks or other wildlife in your yard while stopping them from causing damage. It's a safe alternative compared to chemical-based pest control methods. It also works great on rabbits, squirrels, and deer. 6. Fleas Fleas are tiny blood-sucking pests that send shivers down many people's spines. And if you've ever had a flea infestation in your home, you know just how persistent and frustrating they can be to eradicate. But what if we told you a remedy is in your bathroom cabinet? Baby powder may be the key to banishing those pesky fleas from your home. So how does this powder work its magic on fleas? Well, it's all about dehydration. Fleas thrive in warm and humid environments, but when exposed to talcum powder, their exoskeletons become coated with this fine substance. This powder causes them to lose moisture rapidly, leading to dehydration and death. Not only does talcum powder dehydrate adult fleas, but it also helps kill flea eggs and larvae by suffocating them. Ensure you apply the powder evenly throughout the affected areas like carpets, cushions, pet bedding, where fleas hide. Just remember, don't apply directly to the fur of cats. Felines are meticulous self-groomers prone to licking foreign substances off their fur. Licking or inhaling talcum powder could cause health problems for them. 7. Grubs Grubs are slimy creatures that can send shivers down the spine of any gardener or homeowner. These C-shaped larvae wreak havoc on lawns and gardens and attract pesky pests like moles and skunks. But fear not, talcum powder is a simple and natural solution to eliminate these unwelcome guests. This powder works wonders in repelling grubs from your turf thanks to its drying properties. Sprinkle a generous amount of this fine powder over affected areas to create an inhospitable environment for grubs. The absorbent properties of talcum powder soak up moisture, dehydrating and killing grubs. Also, the fragrance of baby powder masks the scent that attracts these pests, making your yard less appealing to them. 8. Snails and Slugs If you simply want to keep them away from a certain area or plant, a barrier can be created with baby powder by simply sprinkling it around. Slugs and snails really don't like crossing the moisture-sapping powder. 9. Bed Bugs Finally, if you're wondering if baby or talcum powder can kill bed bugs, then you're going to be a little disappointed. Baby powder doesn't kill the bed bugs, but the powder makes the bed bugs slide, preventing them from exiting any sort of trap. Talcum powder provides a drying effect to bed bugs, which works as an eliminator, but it doesn't have the capacity to kill these nasty pests completely. Therefore, the baby powder might kill a few bed bugs, but not an entire army. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to get rid of pests using onions. Thanks for watching and bye for now.